I'm Mike Sullivan, and you know, we talk an awful lot about when you make contact with the ball at impact, having those hands ahead of the ball at impact. Well, today I want to talk about uh, a common problem people run into when trying to get their hands ahead and a way that you can fix it. All right, so we talk a lot in these videos about at impact, where you're supposed to be. You're supposed to have your weight forward and your hands forward, and that's gonna help you strike the ball, then strike the turf, and hit really good, solid golf shots. All right, so um, let me tell you a little story about me learning this stuff. So many years ago, I was uh, at a college to learn all this, and a great school with great instructors, and it was made really clear to me very early in uh, you know, my experience there that we need to strike the ball, just as I mentioned before. Hands ahead of that, of that ball, weight on my front side. Whereas I was striking the ball more, more that way. Weight not so much forward, and the club head was sneaking past my hands. And, and this is something I still have to, have to work on to this day, and it's been... A long time, okay? Well, the way that I was interpreting what I was being taught was giving me trouble. And so what I would do is I would practice and I would hit balls trying to get my hands ahead of that club head. Now, that sounds exactly, it should sound to you exactly correct, the trouble is, is that when I was focusing so much on getting my hands ahead, I was stopping all rotation of my body through the shot. So I was really just kind of shoving my hands forward of where they really naturally would ever be in order to achieve this. And, and what I discovered and what I also had gotten some help with was to, to really make this work in addition to understanding the concept that we want our hands forward at impact and our weight forward at impact, we also need to make sure that we're continuing to turn through the swing. Because really, when you think about it, we want to do this as efficiently as possible, and if it's efficient, it should involve our body kind of staying lined up in a way that is natural with how we're, how we're made. And I wanted to say produce it, but how we're made. So, so it's natural for my hands when I'm holding a, a club or a stick to be out in front of my chest here. That wouldn't be natural. So if I continue to turn through my shot, so on my backswing, you know, I turn back, and then on the downswing, I'm going to turn through. You know, you'll notice my hands are out here in front of my chest still. They're not way, way forward, okay? And let me show you the way that I worked on this that really helped me out the most. I grabbed a short club, so I've got a seven out here. I'm going to grab a shorter club. So I'm going to grab a pitching wedge. Actually, I'll grab a gap wedge just because it was handy. Okay, so I've got my gap wedge here, a pitching wedge, gap wedge, anything be fine. That's short. And I'm going to practice hitting pitch shots with really good technique. The key is I do want to lead with my hands, yes. But the way that I'm going to achieve it is I'm going to make sure that in my swing, I continue to turn my hips and shoulders through at a constant rate, always accelerating. And that makes it easy for me, or relatively easy, to have my hands lead the club head. The reason my hands can lead the club head is because I'm not focusing very much on what they're doing. I'm not trying to control my hands and get them ahead. The whole problem that we have when we kind of scoop the ball, frankly, is that we're using our hands so much. So that should make some sense that by you trying to put your hands in the perfect position, you are thus being handsy, controlling things with your hands, and you're not going to have the success that you want to have. The impact bag drills is a great drill that you can do, but I've found, you, you know, once you've done the impact bag a little bit and on the impact bag, let's go ahead and take a quick break and grab a bag here. 
Okay, so we're back. So here's our impact bag. And the, and the way we do this is just is basically you can have the same exact thoughts we had with that, uh, that previous objective where you're just going to keep on turning nice and gently with relaxed hands. And you can see that how that is going to help encourage my hands and my weight forward. And I'm going to try to strike that bag. I'm going to do it lightly, but I, get, I will have a little acceleration. But the shaft is going to hit the bag before the club face does. And in slow motion, it's kind of going to be you know, that way. All right. So the impact bag absolutely is great. But once you get the hang of it, once you understand what you're trying to accomplish with that bag, <clears throat> excuse me, hitting these shots and just encouraging yourself and making sure that your shoulders are leading, allowing this to happen is going to be great. You know, video will tell, but I felt like my hands were definitely ahead and my weight was forward. Pretty good cookie. What do you think? I hope that helps. We'll see you next time.